Uh, I'm going to read bullet points, and um, I'll just read it. I don't know. Maybe I should say I um, was so nervous about teaching today, which I always am. You know, it's like the first day of school teaching this workshop that Ellen and I were teaching today. And so I was um, up all night, and I probably would not have been up so late if I hadn't um, – made the mistake of checking social media. I had I had been um, avoiding and, and doing a, what I thought is a pretty good job of avoiding the video depicting the murder of George Floyd. Mm. And I, um, I guess I clicked the wrong thing and it wasn't the video, it was the picture. And so mm. I had this, um, I couldn't, I didn't really sleep at all last night because um, I had this image of um, this police officer kneeling on this man's neck. And uh, I couldn't really, I haven't really been, I mean, I've talked to uh, most of my family today, interestingly <laughs> enough, you know, um, because they too saw that image. And I think what happens, what happens when you see something like that is you call the people um, that you're so grateful that that hasn't happened to, but you're aware of the fact that it could happen to them. And um and of course, the other thing that happened today is uh, these poems that I've written that ended up in this this most recent book, The Tradition, um, when things like this happen, they get posted. And it's sort of, um, it's, this, uh, it's this weird thing where you understand that you've done something that that very well properly characterizes the moment, but you would rather not have done it. You would rather not have to see the moment mm -hmm. characterized because you don't want the moment to exist. Um, so anyway, I saw this poem a lot today, um, and it's a poem I wrote after finding out about about the death of, of Sandra Bland and Jesus Huerta and, and Victor White III, all of, all of whom um, died while in police custody um, and whose deaths were ruled suicides Though the suicide, oh, though the circumstances under which they committed suicide seemed quite odd. Bullet points. I will not shoot myself in the head, and I will not shoot myself in the back, and I will not hang myself with a trash bag. And if I do, I promise you, I will not do it in a police car while handcuffed or in the jail cell of a town I only know the name of because I have to drive through it to get home. Yes, I may be at risk, but I promise you, I trust the maggots who live beneath the floorboards of my house to do what they must to any carcass more than I trust an officer of the law of the land to shut my eyes like a man of God might or to cover me with a sheet so clean my mother could have used it to tuck me in. When I kill me, I will do it the same way most Americans do. I promise you, cigarette smoke, or a piece of meat on which I choke, or so broke I freeze in one of these winters we keep calling worst. I promise if you hear of me dead anywhere near a cop, then that cop killed me. He took me from us and left my body, which is, no matter what we've been taught, greater than the settlement a city can pay a mother to stop crying, and more beautiful than the new bullet fished from the folds of my brain. 